All right, so it's been about time that I go ahead and start looking for vacuum leaks in my uh, GM uh, high featured engine. This is the LLT 2010 Buick LaCrosse. I've been had this smoke machine for quite some time now, and finally I have time. Well, <laughs> in my mind, I have time to do it. So uh, it's the Ansel S3000. There's a lot of good reviews on YouTube about this thing, and uh, it's one of the, I guess, I'm gonna say best, but one of the most recommended for particularly DIY, uh, you know, uh, applications. So I'll show you what comes in the box. This comes in the box here. Um, and good thing about this thing, it comes with an air compressor built into it. So you don't need to add air or anything to it. Buttons are very intuitive. If you just want air here, smoke here, you add your fluid here. Here's the fluid level here. You probably can't see that, but it's to the max and you can adjust things with this knob. Here's your power uh, where you put your power supply and this is where you hook the actual cord. There's hose that will output the smoke and it actually have a little handy um, um, Velcro strap here to strap your stuff to it when you finish. So what else comes in the box? Okay, first you get, um, let's see here, you get this thing here. This is the power supply. You just hook it straight to your battery. You get this little boot here, for example, you probably can put this say over a tailpipe and uh, run the hose in this hole here and see if you got a leak in your exhaust system for example um, you also get this uh, bladder here where you can kind of just blow this up here like so um, you also get this cone here which is pretty cool you can put the smoke right through here and here is the hose for this smoke and last but not least the instructions um they might not be helpful to some veteran users of stuff like this but i think for a person like me they, they it's uh they give some insight based you know some little extra little boost of confidence you know besides watching videos and things like that so i've already taken off my uh air box housing here so i can get access to this air intake hose here because i want to put the cone in here because I actually want to check this hose here to make sure this hose here is not leaking. And just this is one of the things here that I want to make sure that I, that I don't want to bypass. And, I'll, and obviously, I just want to see that I see anything else in here um, leaking, you know, any vacuum leaks, or any unmetered air or anything like that, for example. So um, that's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up the machine. And we will take a look at his capabilities of detecting a leak, if I have a leak. All right, I'm back. So here's the setup here. As you can see, I already got this plugged in. So I guess this little red LED here lights up, let you know that power is coming. So if you turn this on, just to test it real quick, it just turns on the uh, air compressor here and use this knob here to adjust. And from what I've seen, probably for doing something like this, you don't need more than two liters per minute. So we're going to just cut that off for a second. Let me run over here to show you here. This is just going straight to the car battery here. This here is the hose right here coming out and it's going around and this here is just where the smoke is going to come out at. And um, what I had to do was actually use this bladder here. The uh, cone would fit, but what happens is that I'll show you. It was a bit too long right here and it um when it when you push it in you couldn't fit it because it would hit that bend right there but this right here works just fine so i've already i've already tested this out before i did this here and this thing works pretty good i really like it and so now we're well, going to show you how this um works so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna um uh go ahead and cut this on here you cut on if you cut this on, only smoke will come. It only makes smoke, but you want to cut this one on too. For example, you cut this on, you see it's, but you, you want to hit both. So you should see smoke coming out of here for a second, in a second or two, shouldn't take long. As you can see, plenty of smoke. So now let me, uh, let me hook this right here, put this inside of here. Give me one second here. All right, so now, we have that going so now as you can see that's hooked to that going to the bladder here so what you want to see is just look around see do you see anything for leaks so i was particularly concerned with this hose right here to make sure there was nothing leaking here and actually there's nothing leaking here uh wait a minute no i don't see anything down there i thought i did um 
so far I don't see anything leaking anywhere that I can see so I'm pretty amazed by that again like I said I, I, I might do this again later on but as it stands as of right now um, wow that's pretty amazing I would have thought that it would have been a slight leak here somewhere but again right now I don't see anything so with that said let's go ahead and stop the machine go ahead and cut this off all right so now again because i was more concerned about this hose just running from here all the way to here so now let's undo this and see a smoke actually coming out of this thing yep so look at there so it was blowing smoke through the system and it was not coming out of that hose because that's the one i thought might have had a leak pretty impressed by this thing i mean i really like this here because i'm gonna again um maybe i need to get under the car to make sure there's nothing but again if there was some smoke it would have been lifting up and i didn't see any type of smoke and you shouldn't have to run it that long again because i'm just looking i mean you're just pushing it right through the intake manifold i mean through the throttle body area coming into the intake manifold and vacuum leaks are going to happen up here and um or somewhere maybe around here and maybe somewhere down in here you could find a vacuum leak or two but i didn't see a wisp of smoke anywhere so anyway that is the ansel s3000 um this car right here has an intermittent p42 p0420 i think i know what a smoke I, i've made old videos about this but i thought i saw the problem because this car did have a faulty um per solenoid valve but i think that it might be leaking from on top of the gas tank. Very intermittent, but um, the code is permanent, but it, the check engine light just comes on every once in a while. But um, I'm gonna use this machine uh, to figure that out, and don't worry, I'll make a video about it. You guys take care, and if you're interested in this, there'll be a link in the description.